Who am I talking to? The voice inside my head sounds a lot like me. But then who's listening? That must be me too. I met a woman at a cocktail party who described her conversion experience. She was passing a church one day when she clearly heard a voice, a voice that was not her own, say, you are mine now. I will heal you. I told her I once belonged to a cult where we flipped a coin on everything. people assume a listener. I used to imagine I was the star of the movie of my own life, with an invisible film crew following me around, capturing every gesture. It added sparkle. I suppose for other people that film crew is God, or Santa Claus, or karma. At what point did I free myself of all that and realize I'm alone? Oh, I've had conversion experiences, but they wore off. I've had my mind read unexpectedly, my aura cleansed where I could see the energy floating around me in waves of turquoise and amethyst. Just impossible synchronicities that can only indicate some kind of higher power. So you let go of fear, you let go of regret, and that kind of confidence is its own reward, the power of faith. With that, you can harness some of the 90% of the brain that's usually inert. You can walk on hot coals or lie on a bed of nails. You can melt a block of ice with your ass. On a trip to England, I lay down in the rose garden at Anne Boleyn's castle and prayed for a soulmate. Back, I guess that was an inauspicious location. A few months later, I lost my head over you. Who am I talking to? Is anybody listening? I'm only talking to myself. Why do I need words? Why do I speak English? And why don't I sound like Frank Sinatra? Once we realized the higher power would guide us through the I Ching, it was only a small leap of faith to believe the universe would guide our every move. We just had to ask it. Everything happens for a reason. Bad things too. I stood on the steps of the synagogue and prayed on the moon for you to find me. But in the end, I had to save myself. <laughs>